So welcome back. This video will show you how to create a new project in Urban Data Modeler. So I have already installed Urban Data Modeler in my system. So let me open the Urban Data Modeler. So this is Urban Data Modeler Work Group Edition. So this is the welcome screen. You can see there is file action, there is model action, then also we have uh, the mod and we have the recent files, tools and references. So we can create a model without a project. We can open a model without a project. We can create an Urban project. We can bundle things together under a project. And uh, if you have already created an Urban project, you can open that. So I am really interested to create a new project. So let us create a new project uh, now. So I should give a name. Um, this is, um, that's the more Erwin project. So I can choose a location. I can say I can go to the projects. So basically the folder name is um, just projects. So I will select the folder. So I can also create a directory for the project. Let me choose that option. I will click OK. So this has created a new project for me, but I don't see any artifacts. So if you look at, you don't have any model. We don't have any entity. We don't have any subject area, but let's see how the, how the uh, folder is created. So let's go to the Erwin. We have, uh, that's demo Erwin project folder. So on the project folder, we could see are you option set. There is nothing created. Then we can have a scheduled reverse engineering folder. Nothing is created. So the folder is basically empty. But you know, the basic required folders are created part of this project creation. So that is the project creation. So let's go through the menus. What do you see for a new project? So we have the file menu. The file menu, you can create a new model. If I create a new model, um, yeah, you can create a logical model, physical model, or logical physical model, or we can match templates. So I will show you when I create a new model uh, about the detail how to create a model. So we have an option to create a model. Then we have we have under this we can open a model. If already you have a model, you can open that. Then we can save the project. You can close the project. You can exit the project. Then coming to the home. We have the model templates. We have um, these menus are disabled because we don't have any entities created. Uh, but you know, um, we have the relationship and we have the annotation and uh, we have other supporting menus like copy paste and uh, copy neighborhood and go to hub. And we have the model explorer and we can also having quick access uh, buttons can do then is uh, we can see the property browser then it will show you object count there is no object here to show because it's an empty project then we have different panes like action logs like all the actions activities will be logged here and we can see the project explorer there is nothing the project uh, shell is created there is no model there is no project right and in the model we have uh, subject area and models then we cannot also show your advisories. We can see the uh, overview and um, we can see the details as well as the summary. So there is uh, nothing. Uh, it's all empty. Then we can see the view menu. View menu has options, but all this will be getting activated when you have some models created for the project. So we have the project explorer and we can save the project. We can delete the project. We can close the project and um, coming to the model. If there is a model, we have all these buttons will be enabled. We have the mod, which is again connecting to a, a cloud version. So it can give you a server port, then SSL, application name, credential, then you can connect to a mod. Then we have the action. So, so we have the reverse engineering. If you want to start a reverse engineering, you can start instead of creating a data model. Then we have the tools, various tools we have available. We have the report designer, we have the query tool, we have the RVM DM scheduler, 
then project explorer and options custom spell checker import so if you want to import from external format this is possible here then finally we have the help menu and we can help topic what is new welcome understanding your support technical support education or win customer community licensing and about so when you come to the about when i look at the about now it shows you work group edition 64 bit and uh, the release version and you know the license and things like that okay so this is uh, how we create a project if i want to close the project i come to the home or i go to the project i just save the project already saved then i can close the project so you want to close the project yes i want to close the project let me close it the project is closed and this is how a new project in Erwin is created.